Republican Senator Ted Cruz met with business leaders in El Paso today to discuss economic growth. Senator Cruz says he has several priorities this year and addressing one specifically that he says is hindering jobs in Texas. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon was there and spoke to Senator Cruz. She's live to tell us what he says is one of his biggest priorities. Josie? Yes, Rick. Senator Cruz told me he has four big priorities this year. Regulatory reform, tax reform, the Supreme Court, but says his biggest priority is repealing Obamacare. I hear every day in Texas from Texans all across our state, I can't afford health insurance for my family anymore. That is a problem that was caused by the federal government. Senator Ted Cruz says after eight years under the Obama administration, it's time for change. Telling ABC7 his priorities include expanding options and lowering premiums. Adding health care has caused millions to lose their doctors. Under Obamacare, the average family's premiums have increased over $5,000 a year. Senator Cruz also telling ABC7 healthcare has been the biggest job killer for small businesses in Texas, saying during small business roundtables like today's, at least half of small business owners are struggling. Also classifying two groups, what he calls the 29ers, those working at less than 30 hours a week to avoid being considered a full-time employee. 49ers are all of the millions of small businesses that are at 48, 49 employees, but they won't grow to 50 because when they hit 50 employees, they fall under Obamacare and, and, and it could bankrupt them. That's millions of small businesses and millions of jobs for people who are struggling that haven't happened because of Obamacare. Well, I come from the private sector and know how hard it is and how many hours that small business people in particular uh, give to running their own business. John Barella, the CEO of the Borderplex Alliance, says bringing those like Senator Ted Cruz to El Paso gives business leaders throughout the region a much needed voice in Washington, D.C. It's our duty, our responsibility to make sure that we're representing those business voices uh, collectively. Um, those opinions are vital in passing on uh, advice and counsel to these uh, folks that are in such uh, high levels of government. 